good morning everyone the topic that we will be seeing today is about technical assessment so um while we are making this uh, project so um we need this technology obviously right so when speaking about the technology and the technical assessment we assess so many technical uh, things so uh, we uh, assess so many technical aspects as well so the functionality against hardware and software something which we obviously must uh, ensure the functionality against the hardware and the software the strategic is plan of the organization any constraint imposed by the is plan so these are the three important technical aspects that we will have to take care when it comes to the uh, technical assessment of the making of the project so the technical assessments that we do and uh, and the hardware and the software are so important for this making of the project the hardware and the software are predetermined and um, while uh, you are making of uh, software so obviously the software which uh, forgoes this so the uh, software which is required for making of the software and the hardware which was required for this software is also so important and the strategic is plan of the organization any constraint imposed by the is plan so these are some of the uh, factors and then the economic assessment why consider when the project is uh, best among the options prioritize the project so that the resources can be allocated effectively if several projects are underway and how we do that is cost benefit analysis cash flow forecasting various cost benefit evaluation techniques and pv and irr so these are some of the factors that uh, determine the uh, economic assessment so when uh, there are various assessments that we will have to do these are some of the important assessment parts of the economic assessment here we uh, must know whether the project that we are doing is cost benefit and it has the cash flow so what sort of cash flow we use and uh, the various cost benefit analysis that we make for uh, making of this project are, are all the important attributes and the characteristics for making of this then we have the ea the cost benefit analysis the standard way to assess the economic benefits are two steps identify and estimate all the costs and benefits of carrying out the project express the costs and benefits in a common unit for easy comparison then we have the costs development costs setup cost operational cost benefits direct mm, cost benefits direct benefits accessible indirect benefits and intangible benefits uh, these are some of the benefits that we guessed out of the cost benefit analysis so here when it comes to the uh, development cost it is about the salaries so in order to develop the uh, software what are the expense that we need every expense comes under this development cost buying of the hardware software setup cost and then we have the operational cost benefits as well then we have the direct benefits and then the accessible indirect benefits and intangible benefits here we have the cash flow forecasting so what is a cash flow cash flow is nothing but the uh, methods by which the ways by which we get cash the cash uh, in in flow uh, or the cash which uh, gets into our bank all the methodologies are the cash flow forecasting so when it comes to the cash flow we will have to make a forecast of uh, which are the methodologies by which you get cash and then um, you have an excess of estimated benefits over the estimated cost is not sufficient uh, need detailed estimation of benefits and costs versus time so when it comes to the making of the project you will not be given sufficient time for making of this uh, project so what you will have to do is you will have to 
predetermined or you will have to make an excess quality time and for that you will have to need some technical assessment as well so what are the technical aspects by which it can shorten the time so whatever methodologies whatever makes you to shorten the time in order to make the project comes under this cash flow forecasting and then we have an excess of estimated benefits over the estimated costs is not sufficient need detailed estimation of benefits and costs versus time so these are some of the factors that uh, determine and we have the expenditure over income the expenditure that we make has to be less and the income the cash flow has to be high so these are some of the cost benefit evaluation techniques the net profit is total income minus total cost payback period is equal to the time taken to break even return on investment these are some of the factors then we have five cost benefit evaluation techniques npv net present value it is the sum of the present value of the future amount present value is the value which a future amount is worth at present it takes into account the profitability of a project and the timing of the cash flow let n be the number of year and r be the discount rate the present value p is given by uh, npv so there are certain issues in npv choosing an appropriate discount rate is difficult ensuring that the rankings of the projects are not sensitive and small changes in discount rate guidelines use the standard rate prescribed by the organization so and then we have the internal rate of return irr the percentage discount rate that would provide a npv of 0 a relative measure advantages convenient it is more convenient then we have the directly comparable with rate of return on other projects and with interest rates it is very useful dismiss a project due to its small irr indicate further precise evaluation of a project supported by ms excel notice 1 2 so why do we need this estimation uh, to define the project uh, budget and to define the product to realize the budget who has to do this the manager what they have to do the size and the cost when they have to do is they have to do always until the project comes into a conclusion then uh, how uh, the techniques and the models can be used so what are the issues related to estimation is difficult to make accurate estimation better to have precious previous data and analyze the actual values against their estimates so that you know how accurate you are even better to have pre- previous data of the whole organization so that you know how accurate the estimation method if any used within the organization positive positive attitude towards estimation use your estimation as a guide to manage your project from time to time you need to revise your estimation based on the current status of the project the estimation approaches expert judgment so an expert judge who can uh, judge these uh, estimation can actually do that ask the knowledgeable experts estimation by analogy use the data of a similar and completed project pricing to win use the price that is low enough to win the contract top down and overall estimate is determined and then broken down into each component task bottom up the estimates of each component t task are aggregated to form the overall estimate algorithm model estimation is based on the characteristics of the product and the development environment size estimation problems related to the size estimation size estimation model function point analysis problem related to size estimation nature of software novel applications of software fast changing technology 
lack of homogeneity of project experience, subjective nature of estimation, political implications with the organization. So these are some of the factors which determine the technical assessment. So with the help of these assessments, you will be able to make out the overall process. We will see you in the next class. Thank you.